announcing today that the remainder of this school year is uh, going to be uh, closed. Uh, we're not going to allow in in school instruction, but we will continue with the alternative methods of instruction through the remainder of this school year. As Cooper would say school's out for summer, but that wouldn't be right. School's out for spring and summer. Thanks for joining us at six. I'm Bob Clausen. Certainly hope you're safe. Ashley is on assignment. The big news from today's governor's briefing. You heard it. Arkansas students will not be returning to school for the rest of the academic year, although they got to get the work done. Public school buildings will be closed for the rest of the year. All coursework will be done online. Meanwhile, we're now up to 875 COVID-19 cases in Arkansas. That is below the model given a couple weeks ago. Good news there. And also good news, no new deaths to report. We sit at 16. Meanwhile, recoveries are up to triple digits and 22 people are on ventilators this evening. RJ Burr at the state capitol today. Jay, a lot to take away from this, but of course the big thing, schools in Arkansas not going to be operating as normal. Yeah, absolutely, Bob. And as soon as that order came down today, you could imagine there was a, a litany of questions and a myriad of immediate concerns that uh, people surely would have after the governor made that announcement to close schools. That the remainder of this school year is uh, going to be uh, closed. And with that, the 2019-2020 school year is almost done for. But Commissioner Johnny Key says learning should still be ongoing. We expect the focus to be on core content, math, literacy, science, and social studies. He did say that teachers should not worry as much about new material and should focus more on what they have done up until schools closed. He emphasizes this is different for everyone and that all parties should be more flexible. It is impractical to try to replicate the school experience uh, when children are at home. Now that we know how the rest of the year will play out, many of the more rural school districts in the state will expand their internet capacities. Many of our districts uh, had been waiting to see what was going to happen with the rest of the school year before they move forward with uh, purchases and uh, uh, trying to make sure that that was available throughout their district. But for those almost done with high school, no worries. Our seniors will graduate. Unfortunately, they may not get that feeling of walking across the stage to receive their diplomas. We know there are districts that are working to plan something, uh, either virtual graduations or uh, on-site graduations when uh, the restrictions can be loosened, but that's something that at this point uh, is very much up in the air. Now, the state is also working with the ACT test and trying to figure out a way to administer that. Also, several other issues covered today. Uh, teachers are encouraged to get their professional development online, but a lot of them have concerns uh, about resources involved with that. Uh, the uh, state report cards now will have to be sort of reworked because a lot of that depends on some of the ACT Aspire testing that students take through the year. Also, there's some uh, attendance factors involved with that as well and asked if next year could potentially start early to in order to sort of mitigate some of the educational instruction time that was lost for this year. Johnny Key says not quite ready to do anything just like that just yet. Live from the state capitol, Jay Burke, KRK 4 News. All right, Jay, thanks very much. And